Hi, I'm Judy. I'm the person responsible for testing all the fabrics that enter the warehouse at Sawyer Brook Distinctive Fabrics. In front of me, I have a series of swatches that we will be testing today. My equipment consists of a candle, a match to light the candle, a pair of needle nose tweezers to hold our fabrics, a box of salt just in case we uh, need it to extinguish the flame, and my candle snuffer. Today I'm going to show you how we test for fiber content in the products that we sell. Fabrics are divided into natural fibers and also synthetics and today we'll be testing both categories. First item is a cotton fabric and that is a natural fiber. I'll light my candle here and I have all my safety uh, items in place. Now when I test this I always put the fiber close to the flame and see how it reacts with the heat of the flame. I did not even get the fabric into the flame before it started to ignite. This is all cotton. You can see the afterglow. You can see the bright orange flame. And once it extinguishes, you'll see the ash that's left or the residue that's left. It's still glowing. The smoke is a gray color. And I think with the silicone mat, I could probably put this right down here. And you can see what a light, fluffy ash that is. And if I just used a, a little breeze, you could see how it would disintegrate. See how that just, just disintegrates. Light, fluffy ash. Next fiber is going to be linen. And linen, again, is a natural fiber. And since it is a plant, we should expect it to react similar to the cotton. I'm putting it close to the flame and see if it ignites before hitting the flame. And there it goes. You can see the afterglow again, and you can see a brown tinged edge as that flame continues down the swatch. A light fluffy ash is occurring at the very end that's already burnt. The afterglow is still present. And what is characteristic of linen, once the whole swatch has burnt, it maintains the shape of that swatch that you cut originally. The smoke is a gray color. That would be indicative of a natural fiber. Okay, I'm just going to snuff out that last bit of the flame. And you can see that this swatch is still intact. It is not as light or as fluffy as the cotton ash, but you can still make it disappear, disintegrate it. Next fiber is a piece of rayon. Rayon is a pulp-based fiber. And I'll see how it reacts to the flame. I did not even get it into the flame before it ignited. And since it is pulp-based, we would expect it to react very similar to a cotton, or a linen for that matter. We can see the afterglow a gray ash, gray smoke, and once it stops burning, you can see that again, it has a light, fluffy ash. And you could just blow that away if you decided to do that. Those three fabrics were all plant-based fabrics. Now we're moving on to the protein fibers. This one is a piece of silk. 
And when I place this close to the flame, I want to see what reaction I get. Immediately, I get it burning. And you see how this is sizzling? And the protein fabrics that we test will be self-extinguishing. The smoke is a gray color. Now you can see what ash is left. It's a crushable black bead. You know, if I just crush it, it looks like charcoal. Next we have a piece of wool. Wool again is a protein fiber. We'll get it close to the flame and see what happens. Ah, it's starting to sizzle. It has a gray smoke to it. And again, it self-extinguishes. You can see that bubble that's at the end of the swatch. And once that's cool, that becomes a crushable ash. Definitely a piece of fine wool. This next sample is a synthetic. It's nylon, commonly known as ripstop nylon. As we approach the flame, the ripstop nylon will shrink away from the flame. As it ignites, it melts. As it melts, it starts to drip. As it drips, it produces a tan bead. Smoke is white. And it is still dripping. And after the flame is extinguished, hopefully I'll be able to show you how sticky it is by moving my tweezers open. There, you see how sticky that is? Characteristic of nylon. Our next swatch will be polyester. Polyester is a carbon-based product. This swatch should shrink from the flame, which is characteristic of all synthetics. You can see it shrinking, and then when it actually ignites, you can see that acrid black smoke, an indication of a polyester fiber. This fabric swatch is a blend of silk and cotton. It will exhibit characteristics of both of those fibers. As it enters the flame, it does not shrink away. As it ignited, it, the uh, flame was extinguished almost immediately. That is indicative of silk. It is self-extinguishing. Now we see this afterglow and a light fluffy ash, which is indicative of cotton. And as it continues to burn, there is a very faint light gray smoke. This last swatch is a blend of polyester and cotton. As we get near the flame, it ignites almost immediately. And from that burning, you can see that acrid black smoke, which is indicative of the polyester. You can also see the afterglow. And the, the smoke has now turned to a, a gray color. The light fluffy ash is indicative of cotton and it continues to have the afterglow. This concludes our testing for today.